a plume of black smoke rising into the sky. Our partners at Patch.com taking this video as the Shady Lane greenhouses catch fire. This melted, actually melted in the fire. A shell of a workshop is all that remains. Charred metal, caution tape still blocking off the area. My big concern was my dad and the other employees, and uh, everybody was fine. Everybody was out. Heidi Hornung helps run the family business. On Friday, roughly a half dozen fire companies rushed to put out the flames. By Saturday, the picture was looking much brighter. It really wasn't an option. Our option is to be open. You know, that's what we're here for. And we want people to come. Amazingly, much of the plants remain untouched, lost a building that housed tools and decorations. But the poinsettias and mums are fine. One of the biggest concerns from callers the infamous train set is still chugging along, too. They love the train. <laughs> and they, they want to know if the train is okay. Then they, of course, they ask about us. In a business that relies on growth, some of the damage may not yet be seen. We'll probably see more damage, you know, as the days go on to see how the plant material is affected. But the business says they know they're lucky and thankful that the community came to the rescue. We're going to move forward, you know, go ahead. Onwards and upwards, I said yesterday. This is a lime that was picked off of a plant right near the fire. You can see the outside is singed, but I'm told the fruit is still good. In fact, 80% of the plants are fine from this fire. In Menominee Falls, Ben Handelman, Fox 6 News.